Hi, my name's Keith Cooper, North Light Images. This is the Canon Pro 300, and I'm gonna have a quick look at installing it onto an existing computer and making sure you don't accidentally select the AirPrint driver because with Canon printers and Epson printers as well, but I'm just looking at Canon in this instance, you can accidentally install the AirPrint version of the driver. You go ahead, do it, it seems to install, and because it's the AirPrint version, effectively color management is broken on the printer. Uh, this has happened, uh, it's been possible to do this on Macs for quite a while. I did a video a while ago looking at the problem of the AirPrint driver and how to avoid it. But this one, I'm doing some testing again on the Pro 300 here. And I needed to set it up on this computer. This is a Mac Studio. This is running uh, a Mac OS 14, uh, which is Sonoma. Uh, this applies to other newer ones as well. Now, the video I did showed an older version. I just wanted to update this to show that the problem still exists. It's still very easy to install the wrong driver. Install the AirPrint driver and color management is effectively broken. So you can't use printer profiles. There's all sorts of things you can't do. If your printer driver, if you've set up a printer like this, the 200, 300,000, something like that, and you find that you haven't got all the driver settings you expect, have a look in the settings, in the system settings, under printers and scanners, find the printer, have a look at it, click on it, see its details, and search for the word air print. If you see the word air print there, delete the printer driver. Now, I've gone back to install a printer driver from scratch because it turns out, and this is probably why people still get it wrong, I don't need to download anything from Canon. I can just go install a new printer and it picks up, there's a Pro 300, and it happily says, I'll install the Pro 300 for you. It takes a few seconds, there it is, but it's installed the AirPrint version. And AirPrint is effectively useless for any color manager, any decent quality printing. Now, if you've got a G550, G650, any of those, the ink tank printers or some of the uh, lower end printers, there is no proper driver, I'm afraid. Now, I have got a workaround for that for the G550, the ink tank series, where I created profiles of sorts. It's not a problem on Windows. It is just that for Macs, essentially those ink tank printers are useless for high end color printing because Canon have not written a proper printer driver for it. Um, sorry to say that, it could work great on Windows, but you need, if you need to do the kind of workaround I did to get color printing working properly, that to me is a reason that you ought to, if you're using Macs, be very careful about getting such printers. That's the low end ones, not these. These are excellent. 200, 300,000, all very good printers. So what have I done? I've gone to canon.co.uk, put, gone to the support page, um, found the drivers. Ignore the fact that the driver's page seems to think I'm using MacOS 10.15 or Catalina on this. I'm not, I'm using 14 on this. 10.15 is actually running on my main Macs that I use for a lot of my work still because it just works. Um, and it just works as an important thing if you're doing stuff commercially. This is my Mac I use for experimenting. One day this one will shift over the other end of the uh, office and I'll be using this one for my main work. So I'll, yeah, I'll do some stuff on that when I do the move. Uh, it's been delayed for assorted reasons, but it does mean I get to test stuff over here on this system rather than my main system that I use for my work. Now, the drivers here, it says Pro 300 Driver Setup Package Mac. That's what I want. Version 1.4, 1st of April, 2024, 1st of April. I'm going to ignore that and assume that Canon, we're not joking with this one. It is a proper driver. Now, I'm just going to go through some screen grabs here, showing things that could, you can get. Now, if I just do a straightforward install, as I said, it's possible to get the wrong driver. So I go to the printers and scanners, yeah, and I can add a printer. I see when I say add a printer, Lo and behold, it finds the small Canon printer that Karen's got up in her office, and it finds this Pro 300. There it is, there's the printer, I think, great. Then I go here, and there, listed on the uh, settings here, it says Canon Pro 300 series. Excellent. I install it, and then I do that check that I mentioned earlier, and there it is, the dreaded word, AirPrint. So effectively, useless. 
of no use whatsoever. It's also why you can't do any high quality color printing from phones, iPhones or iPads or anything like that. Anything that uses the AirPrint protocol for that is, I won't say entirely useless because it's aimed at people printing from phones and iPads and things, but do not think you're gonna be doing any high quality print work from an iPad, whatever version it is. It just doesn't work properly. It's not aimed at that market. It's aimed at a market who want bright, glossy, happy, smiley looking pictures and don't really care about the color that much. I don't fall into that category completely. So no use whatsoever. But anyway, that's it. It says AirPrint version three, useless, delete it. So the next bit, I've now gone to the proper driver. I've opened it up and this is the proper installer that you download from the Canon page. Now you download that installer goes through a whole load of settings and that. This is the same setup that I would do for the printer. Um, I put in the notes, I've got all my Pro 300 videos, review, all the various stuff from when this printer first came out. Uh, is an excellent printer. I've got lots of details on it. But anyway, goes through, does all the setup, finds that this particular printer and it recognizes the serial number on it. So I know it's referring to this printer, although I don't think I've got any other Pro 300s hidden around the house, but it's found this one, goes through, does the install, installs the software. Once again, we're back to that screen that says add printer. And there we go. It says Pro 300 series, but this time it will open up the a page of the web manual. Read this carefully. This is the biggest thing. People installing printers and thinking, I know what I'm doing. I don't need to bother to read any instructions. Um, and it catches people out. It could catch me out on occasions. One of the reasons I'm doing this. But anyway, look at the set what it says here. Read it. Now I know, you know, this is, it was actually Canon when I was reviewing this printer originally that persuaded me to start doing videos because I've always done big, long, and still do, big, long written reviews. And the guy from Canon, he said, people don't like reading. Uh, make it easy for them. Do a video. And I went, nah, nobody's interested in my videos. Well, he was right. I was wrong. But this is where we are now. So go to that, but pay attention to the, what it says here. And that means actually select software here. It tells you rather than just picking what's been conveniently ticked for you, you go to select software. You then get a list of printer software that happens to sit on the printer here, uh, on the computer here. And I can see that it's got the Epson P5000. Well, that's fair enough because this is an Epson P5000 sitting here. It's got several, it's got uh, a Canon TC20M that I tested recently. And it has right at the top of this Canon Pro 300 series. That is what I want. So I select that and I add that to the printers. It appears as a printer. And this time when I check the details, have a look right at the bottom where it says Kind Pro 300 series, driver version 26.10.0.0, no mention of air print. The driver is installed. So the real thing is it is incredibly easy to add printers to the system. In fact, so easy that it's very easy just to go, yeah, 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 do that, do that, do that, you're done. And then nothing works because you've accidentally selected AirPrint. Now, I hope that video is here, saves people some tearing your hair out when uh, your printer drivers are not working right for a Canon printer. Uh, the, I've got another video, have a look at that, that covers Epson ones as well, but, but um, effectively, um, yeah, great printers, but make sure you have the proper printer. Anyway, if you've got any questions, please do let me know. Um, I'm always looking at people's suggestions and queries that often give me ideas for these videos. So thanks for watching. Uh, please do, uh, do subscribe to the channel. I believe I'm supposed to, oh, and like it or something. I believe you're supposed to ask this on every time. But as I say, it's thank the guy at Canon when this came out for twisting my arm into starting doing the videos. Um, you have to thank him again for my, cause I would never have got around to doing it otherwise. Anyway, bye.